Welcome back to Stories Untold. Let's begin Episode 3, The Station Process. And once again, Epilepsy Warning. Station 3, do you read me? Give me a sign, man. This storm is getting pretty wild. Three, log in. Quit fucking around. Oh, I love it already. <laughs> Looks like we're at some polar research station or something. Aha! Uh -huh. I figured Tab would probably switch me to other stuff, just like it did in the last story. Okay, but they're waiting for a response, so let's give it to him. Of course, passwords on a post-it note. High security. 03-03-1968 Hmm? 03-03-1968 There we go. There he is. Finally! What took you? Ah, oh, we're in Greenland. Is the microphone still broken in Station 3? Take that as a yes. <laughs> yeah, he can't reply. He should be able to hear you, though. Can see activity registering, so your voice is definitely going through. Oh, okay. We can chat later, three. Yeah, this is pretty serious. I've had a distress call from Central. There's a situation, and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. What kind of situation? I don't know. I'm assuming it's got something to do with this storm. Whatever it is, it's big to want to involve us. Shit. Okay, what do we do then? Well, my fucking cabin power isn't holding up in this weather, so I can't process the signals myself. Two, you need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. And three, you just need to tune, decode, and process. Just refer to the handbook on the microfilm. It'll walk you through it. I've never done any of this stuff, so I'm not going to be much help, I'm afraid. It's simple, honestly. You could do this in your sleep. Okay. First one is due to appear in a minute or so. Have a quick read of that microfilm handbook. It should be on your left. I'm going to get suited up and restart the generator. Don't fuck it up. Oh, this is so cool. I hope I need a piece of paper and have to draw out stuff to decode things. Okay, so it's going to start up in about a minute. So I should take a look at this thing. Manual microfilm. Okay, three, we're up. Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. Transmission broadcast frequency, 1930 kilohertz FM. Input broadcast authorization key. Okay. Well, let's take a look around before we do too much. Telephone directory to save time. Something something telephone number. Not really readable. NS3 telephone exchange extensions. Radio, keyboard, computer, broken microphone. And our little micro fiche thing. Okay, that's to move it. That's to skip between them. What's this? Rotate. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Can I, like, zoom in? Oh, there's a focus. That's such a cool-looking blur effect. I don't know, there's, like, multiple types of blur. There's blurs that just look like weird computer-generated blurs, and then there's blurs that look like actual optical blur that you'd see in a camera. And this looks like the real stuff. Ah, there we go. Oh, well, of course, now it's not in focus. There we go. Okay, I keep trying to, like, drag the image itself, but no. You gotta flip this little knob. 
we thank you. We at the Central Monitoring Division would first like to... Th uh, there we go. First like to thank you for agreeing to commit to a year's service at your remote monitoring station. The work you do is of vital importance to national security and something that's been redacted of our great nation. While you may never receive any explicit gratitude of our citizens, we will always be indebted to you. Operator roles. An operator at one of our remote monitoring stations will be responsible for the following duties. The daily monitoring specified radio frequencies and the input of test data in a timely manner. In the event of a national security emergency, you will be asked to monitor an input live something something without question or hesitation. Carry out any maintenance needed on site to ensure the continual running of the station. So it makes me something, should such a situation arise, all intruders should be... You're instructed to meet with supply ships and ration food accordingly to ensure the station is continually well stocked. In case of something something something, your 14th and 15th molar teeth. What? Is there like a cyanide capsule in my teeth? In case I'm captured by the enemy or something? You know, just going with my idea, based on the last episode that had a little thread running through it from the first episode, the 1987, or whatever the year was, and that, you know, it seems like some sort of emergency is happening, and this mentions national security, I'm just thinking, what if they're all connected by, like, what if, what if in the first episode, somehow what was going wrong there involved those things, those orbs, or aliens of some sort. In the second episode, the things get released, and now there's a national emergency because of those things being released, and that's what's happening here. Please note that any instructions carrying the GCS flag must be dealt with as a matter of urgency. This is long. <laughs> Cover forward contents, Eagle Sigma. Okay. On receipt of this callback code, conversion operators must input the following command lines into the terminal and execute. Is that what I need to enter right now? Is it? No, it wants an authorization key. Totally different, I think. Oh, this is for Eagle. So if we receive that, that's when we need to do it. Only if we receive evil. Hey, evil. <laughs> Eagle. So cover forward contents, I guess it just goes Eagle Sigma. Abacus. Okay. Conversion handbook. Oh, there's some appendices. Morse code, phonetic, conversion chart, GCS chart. Uh, let's go to the very end, perhaps. Maybe it'll say something about this key. to verbal command, speech, or shout. Base commands for movement. Hmm. Should be interesting once we get to that, if we get to that. GCS code word. Probably not relevant yet. Start. Signal modulation. Oh, this is so cool. I can't wait to go through these flowcharts. Why am I excited for going through flowcharts? I 
feel like I'm playing sort of like keep talking and nobody explodes. Okay, well I don't think what I want is here. Okay. I'm curious what this post-it note under it is. I mean, it's not just my password, right? There's no way. 03031968. No, I didn't think so. Oh, I'm probably supposed to just listen to that frequency, right? Maybe? Let's try. So, FM. 1930. Code word reference abacus. Okay, so we gotta look in the microfiche thing, get the lines of code to execute. This is a systems test. Traceback code is case sensitive, confidential. Oh, that's probably the importance of the case, um, case sensitive thing. Probably the lines of code. That makes sense. Okay, so abacus. Take a look at Abacus. Let's make sure we're zoomed out. Let's also tilt this because it's a little bit tilted. Eh. 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 Close enough. Okay, Abacus number six Eagle Sigma Abacus. Here we go. Alright, sys.exe dash d dash e. Dash d dash e. Yes. Allocate colon two oh two dash a. Output log dash false. Okay, cool. Transmitting. Okay, my light here just turned green and the signal stopped. So I think he did it right. Next one coming up in 30 seconds, apparently. Don't leave them hanging too long. I don't know what they're for. I know we have to make them top priority, or I'll get shit. Of course, don't worry, we'll keep on top of it. Okay, there it is. Creepy sounding things, aren't they? 3500. Guess these are like numbers stations that I'm listening to. Uh, USB. 26 14 0 1 2 26 14 0 1 2 Okay. Chevron. 
<laughs> this is so cool. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Jennifer? Wasn't that the name of the sister? That was the name of the sister in the first episode, The House Abandons, right? Wasn't it Jennifer? Something, there's some sort of a thread of a story going through all these. Definitely. Undeniably. Jennifer. Yeah, look at this. Well, maybe not. I saw a generator on and it just made me think of turning the generator on. But it says R&D generator, so I think that's just like random number generator. Still though, definitely related. Drive. Hold on. I want to look at these. Pragma import, import int value, average. Hmm. Okay, this should be the right one. Chevron. It says substituting any dynamic variables and execute. Oh, variable replacement. X equals second, Y equals fifth, and Z equals sixth number from broadcast code. Okay. So, remember, gotta make sure that I get the capitalization correct. Ref dot init. Just start with that. Ref dot init dash w dash z. Proc begin. Process begin. Yep, so we're initializing a thing called ref, I guess an object or something. Beginning the process. Git dot int. So git dot int. Then we got square brackets and then we have XYZ. XYZ. So second, fifth, and sixth number from broadcast code. No, what was the broadcast code? What was the broadcast code? Um, I guess we have to listen to it again. Second, fifth, and sixth. Um, I should get a piece of paper. One sec. Okay, I just got the code again from the radio. Wrote it down. So, 2nd, 5th, and 6th. 2nd is 0. 5th is 4. 6th is 0. So, 0, 4, 0. Is that right? 0, 4, 0. Please be right. Ah. Oh. Aha! Okay, I got it to work. Um, let me pause for a second and explain what I just figured out. So I was thinking that when it said the second, the fifth, and the sixth number from the broadcast code, um, I was thinking it's the number on the number station, and it is. But you got to think of it in a little bit of a different way. If you write out all the numbers that you get from the number station, it's not literally the we need the uh, the second digit, the fifth or the, the second number, the fifth number, and the sixth number for the number station. It's not the digit, it's talking about the groupings. Because when you listen to the station, it gives them out sometimes in groups. Like it said 20, that's two zero. And then it said six, that's another group. Then it said 14, that's another group. So if you organize the first number as the first group, the second number as the second group of numbers or number, and then enter that as the 2nd, 5th, and 6th, then it worked. 
So the second, fifth, and sixth groups ended up as 612, which is what I just entered. Okay, cool. Thanks, Three. Just pushing this update to the transmitter now. Getting the hang of it, huh? Mm-hmm. Next one coming up. Um, one. What does GCS mean? GCS? What do you mean? Yeah, no, this next one has come through with an additional note. GCS3 equals E1, V1, M1. I've not seen it before. Check the microfilm. Might be something in there about it. Listen. Let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team and I'm starting to worry. Sure thing. Okay, here it is. Whoa. Okay, that's different. Flashing red screen. Yeah, quite the warning sign. Shit. Something's going on. The last two must have just been testing the system. Tune it as normal and I'll see what I can find out once I get these goddamn lights on. Oh, the world is definitely ending outside of these stations. <laughs> I don't know what GCS stands for. Global Crisis System, maybe? Wouldn't surprise me. Alright, I'm, I'm just making notes of everything, by the way. Like, I noted down what they said. GCS3 equals E1, V1, M1. So, I got that. I'm going to note down the frequency, because I think that's going to be important. Hurts. Okay, let's listen in. Not as cool to do it this way, but a little bit faster, I think. Twenty. There we go. Yep. Um, AM. Oh, we got Morse code. Okay, let me try to write this down. Okay, it's quite fast. I had to listen to it about a million times, but I think I have it down. Okay. Um, so first, I guess we got to convert the Morse code, right? Let's do that first. There is a Morse code table in here. Somewhere towards the end, I think. Is this it? Yes, Morse code. Whoop. So that's all scratched out, so it's numbers, not letters. Right? Okay. So, let's hope I did this right. First one is five dots, which is a five. Okay. Next one is four dots, which does not exist. Maybe it's four dots followed by a long, so it might be four. I'll do four question mark. Um, and then I think there's two dots and a long. That's not a thing. Okay, I think I was kind of getting the long and the shorts backwards. So I just listened to it again. Let's try this again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to work better. Okay, so the first one is five longs, which makes more sense. That would be a zero. And then four longs and a short. Four longs and a short, which is nine. Yep, this is definitely making more sense. Two longs, three shorts. Two longs, three shorts. Seven. Yep, this is going to be right. And then another seven. And then three shorts, two long. Three. And then the same as the first, which is zero. Zero, nine, seven, seven, three, zero. Okay, that makes more sense. Not five hood five. <laughs> well, zero, nine, seven, seven, three, zero. Zero, nine, seven, seven, three, zero. Yes! Okay. So, code word reference, Kansas. Yeah, so the last one said they were test scenarios. This one's now all red instead of blue, and it says live, urgent, this is a live scenario. Yeah. Kansas. Oh, right, we're rotated. Oh, 
That one called Jennifer just freaks me out. Just because of the connection to the first episode. It's Kansas, not Canvas, right? Right? Yeah, Kansas. There we go. Operators and the following commands. Okay, same as before. Point dot package dot execute. Point dot package dot execute. And then of course we have a variable. A bunch of variables. Uh, point the capital P dot PKG dot EX. Point dot pkg.ex and then was it brackets? Yes. And then the same thing but with y. Just gonna get it all written out and then I'll put in the stuff later. Cell dash a dash 4g capital G. Cell dash a dash 4g. Dash 4G. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So, what about these? X largest number from original broadcast. And then smallest number from original broadcast. The broadcast code? Is that what they mean by original broadcast? What do they mean, like, the frequency? Like this. So largest and then smallest. Well, if it's a broadcast key that I've written down, largest and then smallest. Largest is 9, and the smallest is 0. So 9 and 0? Okay, I'm not going to enter this just yet, because there's still something I want to look up in here. So, it's not written down anywhere in the game, but the person said they received a GCS3, E1, V1, M1. There's some stuff for GCS in here. I want to look that up before I enter this. Whoops. I think it's towards the end. Like that flowchart and stuff. Morse code. F phonetic. What is this? Different frequencies. Each letter equaling a different number. That's probably for something in the future. None of these frequencies we're using right now. Okay, here we go. Mm. Just leading me to different codes. GCS code word generation. E1, V1, M1. What could those mean? Because those aren't here. Is there more GCS stuff? Oh, yes. Yes, here we go. So... So they said E1, V1, M1. So E1... Well, they're mostly redacted. Open... Opens to verbal command, speech, or shout. Base commands for movement. This is a classification for like an, a an encounter with an alien species, isn't it? Hmm. So it's category one in all of these. It said M1, which is obeys commands for movement. So it's obeying something. 
and near M1 or near E1, E2, is opens to verbal command speech or shout. So it sounds like the higher, like the closer to one, the better the situation is. So it doesn't sound terrible yet. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Look at the scale. One is at the bottom. <clears throat> so it does not obey commands. It's probably killing everybody and whatever else is redacted here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I think it's those things. All right, let's pray this works. Good. Okay, one, we're done. Nothing has happened really, all good. What did you want? I'm about to head outside to look at this generator. My cabin is completely out. Listen. Region wide. Scorched earth. We supposed to hear from the supply team I just launched a rocket. Ago, but I've had nothing. No responses either. Shit. The storm? I hope not. Three. Oh Can my god. Range for me? They use an emergency signal somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. FM. See if you can track it down for me. That's our supply for the next six months. If they turn back, what do we do? We can reschedule. I'm more worried that they didn't turn back. Otherwise, we'd be having a drink by now. The boat was called 20F. God, yeah. Okay. Three. Eight, eight and a half thousand FM somewhere. See if you can pick up a distress signal or something. Wow. I just destroyed a huge part of the world. I can't even tell anybody about it. So, 8,000 FM, distress signal. Look for it. talking about we're hold up here we just got word from central that new york has fallen everyone's gone there now i thought us being so remote would give us time maybe but uh, i can see it coming be ready all of you it's 20 f hour one are you there are you hearing this lock your door two three do the same what do you mean? Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Something is happening. I don't know what, but they said we had to lock up and stay in our cabins. Then it went dead. What are you talking about? Just do it. They're here. Ugh! Who are they? Shit, one, there's another GCS signal coming in. Do we, do we process it still? Yes. As long as the GCS number is going up, we're helping a lot of people. It was three last time. It's six this time. What does it mean? That's good. That's good. Just process the signals. That's it in. From a three to a six. I don't think that is a good thing. 6970. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? An emergency broadcast received from Madrid confirms the epidemic has traveled across the Atlantic. They have been sighted, connecting to central population centers and beginning what is being described as a removal. It's not yet known if the anomaly is still moving with weather systems. We'll bring you further updates as they happen. Okay, I'm gonna make that much, much louder when I go to edit this video, but it's so quiet I couldn't quite hear what they were saying. Other than some sort of a news report to something going wrong. Oh, is that another one? 
What the hell's going on? This can't be happening. Zulu. Sierra. Okay. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. So we got letters. Mike. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. What was the first letter? My. My? Zulu. Sierra. I think the first was my, Hotel. but I'm not quite sure. The others I'm sure about. Um, we're also going to need a frequency, I think. 6970 kilohertz. Writing all this stuff down. This is such a cool story. So I think, yeah, it's this we're going to need. So 6970, which is this one. So, um, oh, they continue over here. Right? Yes. So I think it was my, which would make it 15. So 15, and then Z, which is 2, and then S, which is 21, and then H. which is 10. And then B, which is 4. And then E, which is 7. So 15, 2, 21, 10, 4, 7. Okay, Centaur. Here it is. Looks like there's no variables. Seems like it. Capital M dot status dash R. Capital M dot status dash lowercase r. Command dot str dash z. What that is command dot str dot string h dot grid dot capital w What am I doing this time? Am I launching more? Three. There's something I don't know what I'm looking at. Central Anything? launch. One, I can see something about three's cabin. One of the power lines down. One, are you there? Mm. Fuck. What the hell is that? I can't see you from here, One. What's going on? It's above me. Shit, it's above me. It's over station 3 too. They're here. What's here? Jesus, one, what the fuck is out there? It's fine. It's fine. You'll be fine. Shit. Here's another signal. GCS7 equals E1 V5 M1. One, what the hell? It's flashing urgent. Sound was different. The GCS is higher, probably more urgent, but V was 5. 
V5. Which is... <laughs> whatever that is, is all redacted. Eight one fifty. Eight nine zero four five one eight nine zero four five one eight nine zero four five. Yes. One eight nine zero four five. Sacrifice. Guys, are any of you walking around in that storm? That's crazy. You'll get yourself killed. No one is outside. You're seeing things, four. For rotate. Three. Number station three. This is station four. Do not go outside. Don't go out there. Stay inside. Lock up. Do not go out there. Actuate dot Y. Point one. Z. Okay, so variables. X. Guys, I'm shutting down station five and getting the fuck out of here. They took six. Station six is fucking gone. Those things just ripped it out of the ground. Jesus Christ. Um, X, one, two, and three from the original broadcast represents, represent a longitude. Oh. One, two, and three. Bow. One, two, three. So, one, eight, nine. Is that right? Four, five, six. So, zero, four, five. I think I'm going to look up these longitudes in just a second. Latitude and longitude. Um, authorization word from Appendix C. Okay, Appendix C. Appendix B. Ah. Uh. How the hell am I going to use this? Signal modulation. Oh. So this is USB. USB broadcast frequency. Just a flow chart. 8150, right? Yeah, 8150. Total of broadcast numbers. Total of broadcast numbers. Greater than 30. Uh, let's see. 1, 9. It's 10. 8. It's 18. 4 and 5. That's another 9. So that's 27. 27 is the total? So, no. Not greater than 30. Alexander.
All right, well, I tried to find these latitudes and longitudes, but I couldn't. I don't really understand how they work. I th think you need more than just the numbers. I think you need like an east, west, whatever. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's try it. All launch. Three. James. The last signal hasn't sent. My terminal is going crazy demanding a response. I think the wind has misaligned the transmitter or something. We need to go out to it. Please, James. I'm sorry, but I can't get out. I'm trapped. You'll still be able to hear me, though. Go. Go. actually get to play? Like, in the first person? I get to move? I wasn't expecting that. So, something just dragged me out, didn't it? Where the hell did it go? Christ, everything's so blurry. How's nothing killed me yet? Transmission backup power system. Can I do anything with it? Doesn't seem like it. Follow the power cord, I suppose. Okay, P1's good. Um, what about P2? I guess just follow the other cord. Doesn't it just go back the way I came though? Oh no, it doesn't.
should I try to head back now? I can't feel my legs, James. What? I'm so tired. Why are there cars here? Sounds like the blare of a boat horn. be concluded. Yes, yeah, so these are definitely not completely distinct episodes. They're very much connected. Interesting. That was such a cool episode. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. And I will join you back on the fourth and final episode, The Last Session. <laughs>